number eight. We are presenting the AP Libre Place in Couture. Thank you for listening ICC Radio. When global companies enter into contracts to buy and sell goods, they are free to negotiate specific terms. These terms include the price, quantity, and characteristics of the goods. Every international contract also contains what is referred to as an income term or international commercial term. The parties to the transaction select the income terms, which determine who pays the cost of a transportation segment, who is responsible for loading and unloading of goods, and who bears the risk of loss at any given point during an international shipment. Income terms were created in 1936 by the ICC to facilitate international trade and understand trade terms. They have been updated six times and the final revisions were in 2000 with 13 ink terms and in 2010 leaving us with only 11 terms. Now we're going to talk about delivered at place, which is a rule that may be used with multimodal transport. Delivered at place means that the seller delivers when the goods are placed at the disposal of the buyer on the arriving means of transport and ready to unload at the name place of destination. This place can be the buyer's premises or a nearby place. The parties are well advised to specify as clearly as possible the point within the agreed place of destination, as the risk to that point are for the account of the seller. If the seller incurs costs under its contract of carriage related to unloading at the place of destination, the seller is not entitled to recover such costs from the buyer unless otherwise agreed between the parties. DAP requires the seller to clear the goods for export where applicable. However, the seller has no obligation to clear the goods for import pay any import duty or carry out any import custom formalities. The general rules of DAP are based on the seller has to provide the goods and the commercial invoice in conformity with the contract as the buyer must pay the price of the goods. Also, the seller is entitled of any export license as the buyer of any import license. The contract of carriage for the seller is obligatory, however, the insurance is not. As for the buyer, the contract of carriage is not applicable. Neither is the insurance. The seller must deliver the goods by placing them at the disposal of the buyer on the arriving means of transport ready to unload, and the buyer must take delivery of the goods when they have been delivered at the place. The seller bears all risk of loss of or damage to the goods until they have been delivered, and from that point forward it is risk of the buyer. When these are at the place of destination, the seller must give notice to the buyer in order for the buyer to unload the goods. This is a very useful income term for sales between countries of the same economic area. One example can be the European Union, in which the seller wants to deliver the goods at buyer's premises but it's not necessary to clear goods for import as there are no customs. It can also be used when making an online purchase. At the buyers the buyers have to pay the seller the purchase and he has to be, he has a responsibility to deliver at the place place said. Thank you for listening ICC Radio. We'll be here tomorrow.